1800 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister says Pakistan stands with Azerbaijan in its quest to resolve the Nagorno Karabakh issue as per the United Nations Security Council resolutions. The President has urged the nation to strictly adhere to the standard operating procedures in view of resurgence of the coronavirus cases in the country. The Federal Minister for Water Resources says people have given mandate to the government for the eradication of corruption from the country. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on National Security has said Pakistan will never allow any move to jeopardize regional peace and security. In another move to further undermine the identity of illegally occupied territories, the Indian government has amended the Jammu and Kashmir Panchayat Raj Act 1989. Bahrain and Israel kicked off official diplomatic ties today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says Pakistan stands with Azerbaijan in its quest to resolve the Nagorno Karabakh issue as per the United Nations Security Council resolutions. In a tweet today, the Prime Minister also paid tributes to the Azeri forces valiantly defending their territorial integrity. He also extended felicitation to the President and the fraternal people of Azerbaijan on their Independence Day. Meanwhile, Pakistan has welcomed the humanitarian truce agreed between Azerbaijan and Armenia to prevent a further humanitarian crisis. The Foreign Office spokesperson Zahid Afiz Chaudhary in a statement said this is a positive development for peace and stability. He expressed the hope that humanitarian conditions agreed upon will be honoured completely and comprehensively. The spokesperson said Pakistan believes that sustainable peace between the two parties depends on implementation of the United Nations Security Council resolutions and the withdrawal of Armenian forces from Azerbaijani territories. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has urged the nation to strictly adhere to the standard operating procedures of coronavirus in view of resurgence of positive cases in the country. In his video message, the President said, We have won the war against the pandemic to a significant level and hopefully it will be completely overcome soon. He said the country had recorded 6,825 cases as the highest COVID-19 cases on June 14th, which were dropped to 185 on August 31st. Now again, the figure has crossed 700 mark. The president said the government faced the COVID-19 challenge through smart lockdown and simultaneously ensured the business activities to save the people from unemployment. The president said Pakistan tackled the coronavirus effectively after the people adhered to the precautions by wearing face masks in mosques and markets besides frequently washing hands and observing social distancing. Dr. Arif Alvi said by pursuing the prudent vision of Prime Minister Imran Khan, the people did not lose their jobs and the poor segments were assisted through the SRS program. The Federal Minister for Water Resources, Vessel Vauda, has said the Pakistan Tariq and South government has been given the mandate by the people to eradicate corruption and the government will fulfill its promises made to the people. Talking to the media in Karachi today, the Federal Minister said people of Pakistan have rejected Muhammad Nawaz Sharif. He said the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz leaders have been telling lies to mislead the people and his party leaders have been changing their statements frequently to support their personal gains. He was of the view that Nawaz Sharif has been promoting India's stance and his party does not have people's support anymore. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Climate Change, Malik Amin Aslam, has reaffirmed Pakistan's commitment to join global efforts for protecting environmentally and biologically sensitive areas to stem the loss of biodiversity resources. Speaking at a virtual meeting of the International High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People, organized by the French and Costa Rican governments, he emphasized that biodiversity for food and agriculture are among the Earth's most crucial resources. 
Sessions of the Senate and the National Assembly are being held separately at the Parliament House in Islamabad at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Besides legislative business, both the houses will take up important matters of public interest. This is Radio Pakistan. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister of National Security, Dr. Moeed Yusuf, has said India is stuck in a difficult position in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir and unable to figure out what to do. Talking to APP in Islamabad, he said India's move of August 5th, 2019 had expectedly backfired and it has lost Kashmir for all practical purposes. He said India will have to hold a plebiscite as per the United Nations resolutions to give Kashmiris their just right to self-determination as there is no other workable solution to the issue. Dr. Moeed Yusuf emphasized that the preconditions set by Pakistan are the benchmark for any dialogue process with India if New Delhi is serious to hold talks on Kashmir. He said India has been using the Afghan territory against Pakistan and creating misunderstandings, but now Pakistan has managed to improve the situation. He said the Afghan leadership has come to realize that it was only Pakistan that could have helped to get the intra-Afghan peace process to its present shape and would assist in its meaningful conclusion. He said Pakistan is a responsible state and will never allow any move to jeopardize regional peace and security. Moid Yusuf said if India tried to test us, then the response will be even bigger than demonstrated last year. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, in another move to further undermine the territory's identity, the Indian government has amended the Jammu and Kashmir Panchayat Raj Act 1989. Under the new amendment, each district will be divided into 14 territorial constituencies to downplay the significance of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Assembly and uproot politics. Meanwhile, the All Parties Harit Conference at a meeting held in Sirinagar today reaffirmed the pledge to continue its struggle for freedom against all odds. The Arike Hurriyat Jammu in Kashmir, while strongly condemning the custodial killings, arrests and disappearances, has reiterated that the Kashmiris would not remain silent on the rising Indian state terrorism and fascism in the territory. On the other hand, the Indian authorities arrested more than 150 young students during nocturnal raids on their houses in Bandipura district over the past two months. New Delhi-based newspaper The Indian Express laments that in India, slavery is regulated by caste system, which is firmer than everything else. In an opinion piece, the paper noted that instead of standing by the victims of rape in Uttar Pradesh, the women from the upper caste stood in solidarity with the rapist, that too shielded by the police, which shows that even state institutions are dominated by caste system. The paper writes that this is against the very norms of constitution and demanded that if state wants to prove its credibility, it should declare Dalits as protected species to stop crimes against them. Israel and Bahrain kicked off official diplomatic ties today with the arrival of Israeli delegates to Manama to sign joint communique for opening embassies in the respective capitals. The move follows the American broker normalization of ties deal signed between the two countries last month. And now cricket. The final of the National T20 Cup 2020 will be played between Khabar Pakhtunkhwa and Southern Punjab in Rawalpindi this evening. The match will start at 1930 hours Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is likely to prevail over most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain thunderstorm is expected at isolated places in Lower Send. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.